Bulgarian split squats, slight hinge in the hips, shoulders back and down, core is braced, back foot up on a bench, stool, chair, whatever you have, working on your range, getting your back knee down as low as you can, drive up, tighten that front leg. Heel elevated squats, heels up on weights, stairs, whatever you have, break at the knees first. So push through the knees, then the hips follow to make this a quad dominant exercise. Keep your shoulders back, keep your chest up. Bicycles, shoulders up, chin out of the chest, actively pressing the back down into the floor, pushing each leg as long and as low as you can, keeping that back in the floor, keep your chin up and just rotate with control, nice and controlled. Split squats, both feet are on the floor, shoulders back, slight hinge in the hip, dropping that back knee to the floor, driving up, tightening that front leg. Goblets, shoulders back and down, weight at the chest, weight in the heels, drive back through the heels, keep the core nice and braced the whole time don't let the weight pull you forward into your toes. Sumo deadlift, not a squat. So hinge at the hips to lower down. I had to elevate my dumbbells. I could not keep proper form going to the floor because your dumbbell is a much lower grip than barbell. Dumbbell swings, hip hinge, hinge at the hips, squeeze the glutes and the quads tight at the top. Or if you have access to a kettlebell, you can do kettlebell swings. Either one, kettlebell. There you go, swing, hip hinge, tighten those quads, just like your glutes at the top, core is braced. Hip hinge, not a squat. Shins stay vertical the whole time. 